Hello, welcome back to Admin Anvil. Today, we have a different kind of video for you. Uh, typically, you would see a whole lot of uh, D&D and Warhammer models uh, being painted on the channel. Um, but today, we have another uh, unboxing for you, uh, if you will. Um, today, we will be unboxing uh, the Binding of Isaac for Souls 2nd Edition. So yes, this is the Binding of Isaac for Souls uh, second edition uh, to the card game. Um, if you don't know what this is, um, this is a uh, based off of a video game, The Binding of Isaac, and uh, this is their card game, which is actually incredibly fun. Um, I was first introduced to the card game before the video game, um, and I absolutely fell in love with the game. It's a lot of fun, um, and this was their second edition that they backed on uh, Kickstarter a long time ago, and since with the pandemic and all, uh, it's finally here. So um, this is the sleeve that goes on top of the box. Um, I've already taken it off. It is incredibly hard to get off and nearly impossible to get back on. So that is why uh, we are seeing it in this state. Um, before we actually open up the box, which has actually got a nice little hatch here, uh, before we get into the box, uh, part of the Kickstarter uh, early backing, uh, it comes with a little figure um, which I have already opened this the top so that way I don't have to struggle too hard in getting into this. All right I finally got into the packaging and here is the figure. Uh, pretty cool it is Isaac holding a, a d6. Um, he looks very beat up he's crying uh, that's pretty much the game you do get your crap kicked out of you uh, fairly easily in the video game and also in the card game you die very frequently uh, even when it's not your turn you die several times um, but yeah pretty cool figure all right now let's get into the actual box here so let's get this opened here <laughs> First, looks like we have a lost soul here. Um, I'd be not surprised if this was uh, one of the card arts uh, for one of the souls you can collect in the game. Um, this here just looks like a coloring page to me. Pretty cool. And we get a bunch of uh, stickers here. Cool, very cool. Hopefully there's no glare. I'll show this again real quick. These stickers or maybe tattoos. I can't quite tell. Oh, tattoos. Cool. Very cool. And of course, a nice little message uh, from the creator of the Binding of Isaac. All right, let's see where to even begin. Uh, well, we'll just start on the right here. It looks like this is all of the uh, pieces for the game here. Uh, we've got your pennies, which you use for currency in the game. Um, looks like there are, oh, nickels. That was a Nice thing to have in the game now. Um, there was ways where you could really accumulate a lot of wealth in the card game, and running out of pennies was a problem. Had that happen to, well, kind of frequently actually, whenever you play. Uh, teardrops. Um, trying to remember what these could be used for. I'll think about that. I'll come back to that. Um, <clears throat> Heart counters, count HP. Of course, we've got our pennies right in these nice rolls. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to probably tear up these rolls as you get them out. Let's get you an idea of what the pennies look like. Very cool, very cool. Let's get another roll. <clears throat> Here's the dice. I've uh, got a nice, a larger D6 uh, than the first edition. And we got a D8 here to count hit points or counters on your, some of your cards. 
there are some cards in the game that have a mechanic where if you uh, put some stacks of counters on, um, they can get special abilities, or you can spend the counters to activate uh, special abilities on each card. So that is a good use for that D8. Um, I know my first edition, I have a D20 in there, because <laughs> yes, those counters can get that high. <clears throat> Here are the nickels. Very cool. And here looks like this is uh, the bag to put all of the coins in. Um, nice, just bloody bag. Very nice. Yeah. <clears throat> and last but not least. A nice little D6 pin. There we go. Nice. All right, next we have how to play. Um, yep, this is the rule book. Very short, very small, and they have a QR code to go to their website for more extensive rules. Um, as a lot of games that are in this depth, there's probably an FAQ, um, because how can you really think of every possibility, um, as you're playing this game? I know that that was something that they were trying to fix and trying to think of every outcome, try to have be more clear in the cards versus the first edition. Um, but I, I, I'd imagine this would probably still be, uh, something that comes up frequently while playing the game. All right, looks like we have, a, we'll go with this. This looks like a, probably an instructional card um, explaining uh, all of the key keywords, essentially, um, in the game. So that way you know where to put cards, how to activate cards, um, what is a curse. Oh, there were the counters that I was just talking about. Um and all that fun stuff so very nice very handy <clears throat> it'll be useful for a lot of uh, new players coming into the game but as veteran players um, yeah might be nice to reference every now and then all right here's the first pack we got lots of monsters here um not certain oh we do have actually I believe that is the marking for the expansion. I'm not sure what expansion this is at the current moment. I don't know if this is like Kickstarter or it's the Rec Room expansion or uh, the first expansion. I'm not sure at the time. But here are the cards. A lot of monsters. Uh, this must be, um, this might actually be the collaborative expansion now that I'm seeing the uh, Among Us crewmate. Oh, these are all the players. I'm sorry, not monsters. Very cool. They had a lot, a lot of um, other game developers coming in and collaborating, collaborating with them, which is always nice to see. Looks like we're onto the monsters now. Very cool. A lot of this uh, is not in the base game, so this is some exciting stuff to see. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right, we're just going to start going through these a little quick because there is... Close to a thousand cards, as I was talking with uh, one of my friends who also got the game. Uh, he was actually the one that introduced me to this game. Um, I ordered about 600 card sleeves, and uh, I'm about 300, a little over 300 short now, uh, because there are like 900 some odd cards, and I did not realize there was that many. Ooh, I, li I like the uh, monsters when they don't have the black background. It's just a nice, a nice change. Uh, although that looks terrifying to fight. So.
so many cards. I when you play a game with probably all of these cards, I know there's like special decks you can create to uh, if you want a specific play uh, style. If you only want a certain expansion in with the base deck or throw all the decks together, but I. I will always uh, imagine playing with all of the decks combined, just so that way you never get the same game every time you play. So that would be my ideal way to play it. Alright, jump on a little bit here. This... This is another card pack here. Um, Nope, yep, can't, don't know which one this expansion is, but looks like it's another expansion that we have here. All right, here we are. Oh, this is all of the alternative arts. Um, this was another Kickstarter goal. So these are all base, car, or, uh, base cards in the game. So if you were to just pick up the game retail, this, these were the cards you would get, but these are the alt versions of the cards. Um, so you'll have the standard ones, which uh, we will get to those. Um, kind of working backwards here a little bit. <laughs> uh, this is a very cool card. That is a lot of risk for very little reward. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. Losing the cards a little bit. Don't want to damage them until I can get, them, get the sleeves on them. So uh, having um, all of the decks in uh, the game, uh, which would mean you would have some, <laughs> uh, some repeats. Which could be good and bad. Those are all of the alt cards. I'm moving fast because there are close to a thousand cards, so we would be here forever if we stop and took a look at each card for 30 seconds each. I believe is the Rec Loom expansion. Because this is a lot more of the typical cards you are going to see in the game. Um, however, there are some cards in here I do not recognize from the first edition. So, I believe this is the Requiem expansion. So these are brand new to the game. All of your sense is like accumulate money. Good to see we are getting more of just standard cards. Oh, we got some more monsters, which is great. Hopefully we get some new interesting uh, mechanics. Well, actually, some of these do look familiar a bit. Hmm. Interesting. This is so you can create your own cards. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do with these exactly. Um, in case you need to maybe replace a card or, uh, yeah, or you can create your own cards, which could always be fun. Looks like they give you a pretty decent amount. Um, probably would take like dry erase marker to this if I were to um, create my own cards put them in a sleeve dry erase marker on top of it um, yeah although dry erase marker might rub off pretty well or pretty easily so I don't know why have to come up with an idea for those I won't open those just because um, just because they're blank these are pretty cool. I think this is. I think this helps just identify um, 
where it eat, like what deck is what uh, if you do have them sleeved it would be my guess um, these over here um, honestly not sure but they're cool I like it <laughs> I have forgotten pretty much everything that is in this box because um, it's been so long since backing it All right, we got another expansion here. We will see what exactly this is. This, uh, I, okay, I know what the expansion is based off of the color of this bomb. Uh, this isn't Requiem. This is the expansion that was before Requiem. The name is escaping me, unfortunately. A lot of these are very familiar. Very cool art. I like the updated art. Uh, it's a lot more crisp looking. Sorry, I keep lowering, trying to catch the cards, but I want to make sure they're all in frame. The art is so cool. So cool. Love this card. Love Krampus. He's great. Isaac's also very fun. I love his art. I love that blue. Very cool. And there's the back of that card. Oh, it's, the name is weird. That's cool. That's cool. Very cool, very cool. I'm sure somebody watching this might have the key to what each of the expansions are. Because I'm starting to suspect that this is a Requiem expansion. The one before that had the cross in the corner, I believe. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> there's so many expansions. Uh, well, I shouldn't say so many. I think there's two official, and then they brought back the old Kickstarter. Um, the first Kickstarter that they did before uh, the second editions, they did a first edition Kickstarter uh, that had exclusive cards to it. So they brought those back. And then they had exclusive cards for um, uh, just some collaborations with some retail. Uh, I know Target had uh, some few ones, so I'm sure those cards are, uh, we probably have already seen those cards. Uh, since we've been working backwards through this box, looking at everything new first. Liking the art. The art is very nice. One issue they have with the first edition is that when they uh, first introduced uh, their first expansion, uh, I believe the story was that they had to go through a different company for the cards, and the coloring on the backs of the cards so like this for an example it, it's a terrible example but just to give you an idea the backs of these cards are slightly tinted a different shade uh so like how maybe this would be it's like slightly darker on that expansion for example right um than the base set of the first edition. So you can, so if you didn't have card sleeves on that were covering the backs of the card, you would know if it was expansion card or um, if it was base game card, which at that point you absolutely had to sleeve your cards. I believe they had a different texture too when you held them. 
but with card games, if you aren't sleeving your cards, are you really? Never mind. I'm not going to criticize each to their own, right? I like to keep my cards looking nice, so I'm going to sleeve all almost 1,000 cards. <laughs> I love the reference. Advanced D&D, love it. These are all the base game cards, so if you were to pick up this game uh, through retail, uh, you can expect to find all these cards in them. That's another uh, base set of cards. So, again, if you went to a retailer and just got the base set, you can expect to find all these cards in them. And the art looks so good. These are not base cards. This looks like to be the Requiem expansion. So if you find a retailer that's selling the base and the Requiem expansion, then these cards will be in there too. Not too sure how they are going to be doing all of the expansion and retailing um, for the game. Just because the Kickstarter just had every single expansion in it already. I don't even know if they had an option to get the base game alone without Requiem. I knew what I wanted. I knew exactly what I was looking for. The big ultimate collection box, so. Get every card at the time of its release, which I'm sure they will be adding plenty more in fact, I'm pretty sure my my friend that introduced me to this game that I previously mentioned um, has already shown off some cards already getting added to the game. These are base cards. Love that card. Very fun uh, to farm if you get set up really well. I think the rest of these cards that we're going through now are base base game. Tons of monsters. It's gonna be very interesting when the time comes to shovel each deck because you have three different, oh, four now with the rooms. Um, of cards worth of shuffling and with all of these expansions those decks are going to be pretty pretty thick so it's going to require um probably a good few minutes of shuffling for each deck to make sure you actually have it shuffled This is the last card pack. All right, time to see. I believe this might actually just be a uh, card holder, so your cards don't uh, move around. 
Uh, but I believe this box is intended to hold all of the cards in the game with sleeves on them, which is going to be very nice. I'm actually going to pick up the camera, sort of see the art on the inside. Very cool, very cool. All right, well, that's it for the unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, diff different video uh, for the channel. Um, and we'll be back to our regular content uh, here soon. Thank you guys for watching.